So next, what I'll do is I will draw a line from, um, from the lower fiber to the top fiber and extract sigma x along that line. And then one can compare that to what you predict from just uh, beam bending theory. So unclick section plane, um, unclick the max and min labels, and manipulate the view using the middle mouse button and the middle mouse wheel until you see something like that, um, and go to geometry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a line from um, from here to here in the middle, approximately in the middle of the crank. So I'll do that via creating uh, coordinate systems. So first I'll create a coordinate system, you know, in the center of the front face. So I will click, so I will go here and select the edge selection filter. I'll select this lower edge and hold down the control button select that upper edge then go to highlight coordinate systems and now if I click on new coordinate system what it'll do is it'll put it at the center of a weighted average of these two selections so I'll click new coordinate system and you can see that it, it created the, um, the coordinate system at the center of those two entities and I can rename that coordinate system. Let me use unscientific notation and call it my coordinate system. Okay, now if I zoom in to the um, here, basically I'm going to create a line passing, you know, from here, uh, from the top fiber, uh, from the bottom fiber to the top fiber, passing through the origin. And I need to know what the value of y is over here. I can interrogate that. So once geometry is highlighted, I can go in and say x, y, z. And I can interrogate what the y value is. It's around point 0.329. Now another way to do this is to create a, another coordinate system that's centered over there. And that will give me the y value exactly. So let me do that. Um, so highlight geometry um, edge and select that entity only that edge and go to coordinate systems and say create coordinate system so it created a second coordinate uh, a, a third coordinate system actually that is centered around there so let me call that um, my coordinate system 2 